Hey folks, it's the Rock and Roll King, Robert R. McFarland, talking to you. And we're doing this series, Stories Behind the Songs, from the Rock and Roll CD. This is episode two. We're going right in order of the double disc 22 song CD. This is um, on the rock side, rock CD. This is number two called Feeling Good, Feeling All Right. And the story behind this is I had a buddy in high school, Mike, well, actually two, two buddies, Mike and Marvin Miller. They was brothers. Marvin, I believe, was two years ahead of me, and I think Mike was one year behind me. So this story is based around, or this song is based around this story. I want to think I was in 10th, maybe 11th grade. I can't remember exactly the year. But I remember in lunch at school one day, they was pass around these flyers. Uh, a couple of them was. And it was a party at Mike and Marvin's Miller's house. The parents had went on vacation and they had this party. I hope I don't, hope I don't get anybody in trouble. Again, this was back in 1986, 87. This is you know, 37 years ago. So hopefully all wounds are healed as of right now. But anyways, they had a party. Their mom and dad was going to be on vacation and they was handing these um, um, flyers out at school. So, you know, of course, I got one and, you know, love music. There was going to be a live band there, you know, parties, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was like, great, man, you know, count me in. So, you know, they're passing around these flyers for this party. So, you know, I went to the party. Um, I can't remember who I went with. I think I went with one of my buddies. And there's probably about 30, 40 people there, but they had this live band. And I think that was the first rock and roll band live I've ever seen. It was in a, in a garage. It was loud, you know. They had guitars and everything. It was pretty cool. Um, I don't drink, so, you know, I was completely sober. So I, I remember what a lot went down that night. But, you know, my friends was drinking everything, which is cool. No problem. Um, but that's what this song is about. So, you know, I came up with this riff, you know, the opening riff on the guitar. And I'm thinking, you know, what can I do for lyrics? And um, I kept thinking, you know, what what is it is? And I thought about this story. So, you know, the first lyrics is, you know, what your mama don't know won't hurt her. What your papa can't see won't hurt him too. We got to get this party started. So here's what we're going to do. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling all right. I got my rock and roll. So they was passing around this um, flyer saying, hey, our mom and dad don't know. We're going to have a party. We got this live band that rocks, this rock and roll band. So let's have this party. So that's the whole premise of the song is based around that story from high school. So the next lyric is a killer lyric. Let's tell our friends Friday night we rock. Let's tell our friends Friday night we roll because it was on a Friday night. The parents had just left that Friday to have the whole weekend wherever they went. Or maybe they was going for a week. I can't remember. So they just left that weekend or that Friday uh, morning. So we're going to have such a good time. It's all for one, one for all. And again, that's a common theme. That's in my liner notes in the CD. Uh, actually, real quick. It's in my liner notes of the CD. And that's one of my big sayings. It's all for one, one for all, and all for rock and roll. So, then the, you know, the chorus is, I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling all right, I got my rock and roll. There's, there's my beanie dog. Sometimes one of these dogs like to get in the, in the, uh, in the, in the video. Love that little dog. Um, so then the bridge comes. So it says, so come on, so come on. We're going to be feeling good. We're going to be feeling all right. So come on. So I'm going to, come on. We're going to be feeling good, feeling all right, all through the n -n 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 night. Uh, and that's just like a, a theme, man. You know, we're going. It's going to be great. So that's the whole premise of the song. Uh, was that party, and for them to organize it to get everybody there on a Friday night for a rock and roll party, and. Again, it's one of those memories in your youth that you'll always treasure. Again, it was the first live rock band I seen, amplifiers. At the time, I think I was playing banjo and acoustic guitar. So, you know, I never had a electrified amplifier or in guitar. So this was new to me, but I was hearing, you know, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, I think Black Sabbath, all that stuff that I'd grown to love. I was hearing it live, you know, really probably how it should be, right in your face. So that was... Feeling good, feeling all right, the story behind the song. I hope Marvin and Mike don't mind me telling that story. Um, but, again, it's a true story. Um, and it just, you know, 
one of those childhood memories that I'll never forget. It really, you know, had an impression on me and uh, kind of probably helped shape my uh, life in the music at some degree. But it was the basis of this song. So again, I took a nugget of my youth and put it into a song. So Mike and Marvin Miller, my hat's off. Song's dedicated to you. Uh, really, uh, that was the inspiration of the song. So again, until next time, folks, this is the Rock and Roll King, Robert R. McFarland, talking to you. This was the episode, Feeling Good, Feeling All Right, the stories behind the songs, SBTS. Till next time, it's all for one, one for all, and all for rock and roll.